about you? Wow, Sakwa, that's a beautiful flower. It makes me feel so happy just looking at it. Oh, I think I can almost smell it. Mmm. Don't be silly, Shigua. It's just a drawing. And by the way, it smells like paper and ink. Well, I still think it's beautiful. Oh, come on. You gotta be kidding me. It's just a picture, and not even a good one at that. Don't wash. Stop it. Yeah, cut it out. I was gonna give that to Shigua. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my beautiful flower. It's ruined. Look what you did. Hey, don't blame me. You guys ripped it when you tried to grab it. We did not. Oh, yes, you did. My beautiful flower. What's all this noise about? Dongwa made fun of me when I said how beautiful Sokwa's painting was. Yeah. He said it was just a picture, and that it was ugly. I did not. Yes, you did. And then he ripped it. I did not. I'm surprised that you didn't see the beauty in Sagwa's drawing. But it's only a silly old picture. A picture is not silly, and it can make people feel many different emotions. Art is very powerful. Now this is powerful. Yeah! <laughs> well, yes, it is. But that's a different sort of power. Huh? Well, perhaps I should tell you the story of one of your most powerful ancestors ever. The legendary Ming Miao of China. Did he do Gum Fu too? No, Dongwa. He was an artist. What? Once upon a time, there was a young cat named Ming Miao who had a great talent for drawing. But more than just being beautiful, Ming Miao's paintings had an incredibly magical quality. His drawings actually came to life. Whatever he drew became real. Ming Miao had a very good heart, and so he only drew good and beautiful things. Soon, the word of Ming Miao's extraordinary talents began to spread across the land. <laughs> Cats and people from all over the countryside flocked to see his paintings and drawings spring to life. And he continued to do only good things with his precious gift and talent. It seems that the Emperor had also heard of Ming Miao's <laughs> talents. And he wanted to see for himself just exactly what all the fuss was about. So the guards put Ming Miao in a cage and took him off to the Emperor's palace. And for the first time in Ming Miao's happy life, tears streamed down his face. Why was he crying? Well, wouldn't you cry if a bunch of guards came and put you in a cage? And took you away from your home? Poor Ming Yao. But once he got to the Emperor's palace, he was taken to his very own room. It was filled with a thousand colors of ink and more blank scrolls than Ming Miao could count. He cheered up. <gasps> the Emperor must love paintings too, he told himself.
continue to paint his lovely, magical pictures. But the emperor was evil, and he had other ideas. He wanted Ming Miao to draw horrible cyclones to destroy his enemies. even bigger sandstorms to blind his foes. Once the evil emperor realized the tremendous power of Ming Miao's drawings, he could not stop himself. And he forced Ming Miao to draw one horrible catastrophe after another. Lightning, firestorms, floods, even sharks. Sharks? Yes, even sharks. forced to do such evil things. Yeah, what an awful end to such a great story. Not so quickly. Ming Miao did not want to draw these evil things. So instead, he had to come up with a plan to distract the emperor. He drew a fantastic sailing ship for the emperor with tall masts and gigantic sails. The next day, Ming Miao presented ah. the drawing to the Emperor, who oohed and awed over the magnificent ship. And right before the Emperor's eyes, the incredible ship magically began to come to life. As it sailed through the air, the ship became bigger and bigger. Well, as you can imagine, the Emperor was amazed. He could not believe his eyes. My, my, said the emperor. With this fine vessel as the flagship of my mighty navy, we will never again lose a battle at sea. And so, the emperor boarded his new ship. The Emperor was so taken with the ship's gigantic sails that he failed to notice that Ming Miao had not drawn a rudder, a ship's wheel, nor any other way to steer the ship. No, the Emperor was so greedy that he could only admire the vast size of his amazing new ship. And of course, he couldn't wait to take it out to sea. And no sooner were they all on board than Ming Miao drew a strong and steady wind, which blew the ship and the emperor and his imperial guards straight out to sea for many hundreds of miles. Now, as we already know, Ming Miao was good and not cruel and evil. So he had drawn fruit and vegetables and food and Ooh. drinking water on the ship so the emperor and his guards would not starve. <gasps> And several hundred miles offshore, Ming Yao drew a lush island, which sprang to life right in front of the ship. And that is where the emperor and his imperial guards landed. And after they had landed on the island, Ming Yao drew a gigantic ring of rocky reefs and shoals around the island, so that the emperor and his guards would never be able to leave. So for the rest of their lives, the evil emperor and his guards lived on that island with more than enough food and fresh water to live a full life. But far, far away from the people of China whom they could have harmed. What happened to Ming Miao? Well, that's a very interesting question. I suppose he could have remained at the emperor's palace where he could have ruled China couldn't he? Mm -hmm. And he could have used his art to control the people. Mm -mm. No, Ming Miao would never have used his art for evil. He would have never done that. My goodness, Donghua. You have been paying attention. And yes, you're right. Ming Miao would have never used his art for evil. 
Instead, he returned to his home. Back to this very village, where he continued to draw only good things. And where he became the official cat calligrapher to that province's magistrate. Just like us! Well, yes. How do you think we learned to write and draw? It's been passed down from generation to generation, ever since Ming Miao, all the way down to the three of you. So you see, a picture can be very powerful. Yeah, but mine don't come to life, and neither do Sogwas or Shiguas. But they still have power. Was that really a true story, Mama? <laughs>